As we come on air this midday, the teen at the center of the popular Netflix documentary, Take Care of Maya, began her testimony in court just hours ago. You're watching 10 Tampa Bay. I'm Frank Wiley and for Courtney Robinson. Maya Kowalski's family filing a multi-million dollar lawsuit against Johns Hopkins All Children's Hospital, alleging malpractice and false imprisonment. Want to go out live to our Adoria Chumba, who has been following this case in court today. Adori. Frank, this is the very first time that we're hearing directly from Maya about her ordeal, which began in 2016 when she was just a 10 year old girl. Now, according to court documents, Maya was diagnosed with complex regional pain syndrome by her doctors and was sheltered at Johns Hopkins Children's for three months. During that time, she was kept away from family, especially her mother, Beata, who doctors accused of child abuse. They said she was making up her daughter's illness and over medicating her with ketamine, calling it a case of Munchausen by proxy. On the stand today, Maya talked about her treatments and the pains she experienced. With CRPS, it's pretty well known that it could affect some organs, and for me, it affected my um, large intestine, so I often got pretty constipated. It's because both, um, well, CRPS, it, it's an attack on the sympathetic nervous system. So when our remedies at home, like Miralax, didn't work, we were forced to go to the ER. To get cleaned out. Correct. But Just before Maya took to the stand, her dad, please. Jack, Jeff finished his testimony. Kowalski. He revealed more about what the Richard family the considered here. disturbing and inappropriate comments and contacts made by a social After worker, Kathy Beatty. Beatty was a liaison and also responsible for restricting access to Maya. Now, today, jurors will also hear about text messages between hospital staff about Maya and her mother. Later on this afternoon, Maya is expected to talk about the impact of her mother's death by suicide on her and the family. For now, live in Venice, Aduria Chumba, 10 Tampa Bay.